Hey guys. So, when I was building this trailer, there was a, a few things that I had to think about, and one of the things was the suspension and what I wanted to have underneath this trailer. Um, I suppose it comes down to A, how much money do you have? B, how much are you going to use the trailer? And C, what kind of terrain is the trailer going to drive on all the time? So, with mine, I decided to go full independent. So, that means that I have um, shock absorbers and independent coils on all four corners of the trailer. So, I'll give you a closer view of my suspension setup. So basically I have four arms with dual shocks on each arm and then a coil spring as well. Most uh, trucks and utes and that in Australia kind of max out at three and a half ton towing capacity. So a lot of the manufacturers of these components kind of go around to three and a half and now they're starting to get in, into the four and a half ton rated stuff. This is a tough ride setup that I bought. So this is rated for four and a half ton. With leaf springs, it, it's, it's kind of, yeah, like I said before, it's kind of how much money do you want to spend, how much you're going to use the trailer and what you're going to drive on all the time. So. I went with the independent just because I had a I had a camper trailer that had independent suspension and it just rode so nice down the highway and over rough terrain it was just beautiful to tow all the time it was really good so that's that's kind of why I wanted this set up on my equipment trailer um, I have an eight eight kilometer um, gravel driveway so I do get some potholes and things like that and uneven terrain so it, it helps with the trailer um, I wanted something solid that was gonna last me a long long time and not and not kind of fade as if leaf springs they, they they wear out a lot quicker than this ever will um, so basically all I've got to replace on this is the shocks I'll get a front view here as well so they're all greasable. She got the shock absorbers just there. And they just they just ride so much smoother than a leaf spring. Let's try and get out of this wind. So yeah, if you just make up, make a decision based on, on those three things, then yeah, if you're going to use the trailer all the time and it's going to cop a, cop a flogging, then yeah, go with the, spend a little bit of extra money and, and go with an independent setup. I don't know how many setups there are in America for independent suspension on trailers, but there is a big market here for it in Australia just because the amount of... Um, camper trailers and caravans and all that sort of stuff as we are very known for being very outdoors and our big trailers and off-road caravans and all that sort of gear so there was a market here that I could uh, get those components for this trailer so but I'm sure um, tough ride and vehicle components cruise master cruise master a really good company like you can get these independent ones with full air ride setups as well um, I'm thinking about converting my coils to air ride so that way I can I can level the trailer and adjust it and pump up the bags a bit harder if I've got a heavier load on like today that bobcat weighs all of three and a half ton so so it's kind of hard trying to make a decision on, on when you are building a trailer, what components you want on it. But I just, yeah, those three things. How much am I gonna use it? How much money have I got? And what sort of train it's gonna drive on? And then I just went, yep, I'm gonna spend the extra bit of money and put the best stuff I can get in there, so. 
Righto guys, no worries. I don't really like saying subscribe and all that sort of stuff, but um, if you want to, go nuts. Helps me out, I'd appreciate it. Like the video if you liked it. Yeah, give it a thumbs up. See you guys.